I am back. I probably will have this go up in the morning. It'll be here on uh, Monday. I have gotten some packages and I've just been letting them stack up because I kind of know what's in them. I just don't know what's in each one. I know what I've purchased. I just, I just haven't looked at all of them yet. So let's take a look, shall we? Shall you know who says that? Let's see what I bought, shall you? Hmm? If you know who says that, put it in my comments. Somebody that I watch. Okay, this is my first one. This one's from a, uh, not a business, a person. Not sure which service I bought it on. So, is everybody else getting a break from the weather? Oh my God. We actually had snow and hail at my work Saturday. And then um, I believe it's nice today. And um, I haven't watched the news yet. I've been just watching videos getting caught up. Okay, let's see. What is this? It's packed very well. Yeah, very well. Okay. I have been watching a lot of other stuff, getting caught up on all my videos. So I think I'm, I still have some in here for Christmas. So I've been going through and deleting some like the weather ones. Don't need to see those anymore. <laughs> They're from Christmas. So I go back every once in a while, I'll delete some like old news um, that I have saved that, you know, I've already heard about an update from it. Some of these, um, crimes that have been going on. I already know the results of some of it, so I go back and delete the ones that are in the front. And so I'm very excited. This time I think I have an appointment with my hand doctor tomorrow, the real one. Maybe, you know, it hasn't hurt me too much this weekend, but I'm not doing my, I didn't do my regular job. I think that's, but what I want to know from him is what what um, treatment can I use? Which is the best hand brace? Which is the best lotion? Which is the best internal medicine? Which are the ones that I should use? Because I'm trying everything. I am. I am trying everything. And I. it's hard to tell what works. Because when I stopped using everything, everything started hurting. Really? <laughs> Have I been in that much pain all the time and just didn't know it because I've been taking pills every day. <laughs> it's possible. So, you know, this thing's very small because it's still wrapped up and I think it's very small. I um, fell into a Poshmark rabbit hole because I found out that if you go to Poshmark, and you heart things, people will send you an offer for it at a discount. Yeah. So sometimes it's half the price. So you don't even have to buy it. You just put a heart on it and they will make an offer less. So if you sell things on Poshmark, let me know how, how it works on your side as a seller because on the buyer's side, that seems kind of interesting. This doesn't break. <laughs> this is good. I'm so glad she did this. But I found a lot. It's so little compared to what it was wrapped in. <laughs> I've been looking. I just put in searches and I found this little teeny tiny Starbucks espresso cup. Isn't that cute? Because I have a little espresso machine and I just have a little glass cup, but I thought, oh, this is so cute. And it's, you know, it's official Starbucks. So I thought, oh, okay, I'll get it. And she made me an offer and it was less. 
So, you know, there you go. Okay. Now, this one's already open, and I can, I don't know if I'll be able to put stuff in here because it's uh, kind of big, but this was Kohl's. This was enabled by Lisa. Happy to hook crochet because she told me she went to um, Kohl's to get her stuffed animals for $5. So I went online to look and they had stuffed animals for $5. And these were Dr. Seuss. So I, yeah, I did it. I got me a box and socks. That was my favorite book to read my son because it was a tongue twister that one i love that book i would i i took that book to his class when i was told to come in and read a book to the class that's the one i took i loved reading that one and um so there's a fox and i'm gonna put this stuff over here in a um have a container over there i also have a cat in a hat now you guys were saying these are kind of big for lovies well you use the blanket yarn this is the kind of stuff you would use the blanket yarn on. It would go faster and just make it, because I had that big panda. And so you just make it as long so it'll just cover them, which would, with blanket yarn would be make maybe eight or nine rounds. It wouldn't even be that much. So it would be very fast and just use your blanket yarn on the big ones. And Horton. Horton, here's a who. He was one of my favorite books when I was little my other favorite one was if they put me in the zoo you know where the the um the animal had spots that jumped on them and jumped off and changed colors that was one of my favorite books when I was a little Dr. Seuss Horton and there's another oh brown cow this is can Mr. Brown can move can you there's a brown cow. This is cool. You know what would be great as a set to sell this in your shop? Make the lovey and then get the book and add the book into the set. Wouldn't that be a really cool gift? And there was another Horton, because why not? And another cat in the hat because yeah why not that would be four five six seven i don't know if there were five bucks a piece and then i got a lorax now a lorax because my brother looks like a lorax he's got one of those big ass mustaches <laughs> and no hair <laughs> he doesn't watch this anyway so <laughs> so yep the lorax so let me see there's my thing from Kohl's and um, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them. So yeah, less than 40, it was maybe 40 bucks with tax. That's not bad. And if you add a book to it, you can get the books probably cheap somewhere online, new books, the little ones or the big ones, either one, um, 25 or $30 could sell that i'm thinking after you make the lovey and the animal and then have the book with it that would be very cool maybe get some stickers off of timu okay now i have another box all right so that was that and i have a box here from i don't know It says facility manager, Pennsylvania. So let's see what's in this one. Now I'm part participating in the mystery arm challenge because I had a, uh, I wasn't going to because you didn't need any more people to send or receive yarn. It, everything broke out even, but I ended up having an entry that was a little bit later so i decided to go ahead and exchange yarn with that first so i'm going to be playing and um i'm just hoping i'm just so excited my hand doesn't even hurt today 
I've been working on the uh, yarn that I got from Goucher. And I've almost got my project done that I started. And then I want to do a couple swatches. And then when I get my um, package from her that I purchased, I am going to... I am going to um, have a giveaway when I do that video. So you're going to want to stay tuned for my next Boucher video. I'm going to um, give away some of their yarn. Okay. Let's see what, what, what did I buy? This is fragile. If I didn't know any better, it's probably Starbucks. So I know I have some more Starbucks coming. But I'm not sure what this is. Let's see. Yeah, this is a Starbucks cup. Okay. So this probably was from a business. Which one did I get? Oh, oh look, it's Sleeping Beauty's Castle, the pink with the pink one. Oh my god. Isn't that pretty? Now I have when I when just before I came to Utah, I went to Disneyland, Universal Studios, and when I went to Disneyland, I had to go to both because you have to go into California Adventure to get the cups from there. So I've got the ones from Disneyland and California Adventure, and then they have some for Orange County, they have some for Anaheim, Walt Disney World, but this is Disneyland. That's the one in California. And I've never been to the one in Florida. So, but, oh my God, this is beautiful. It's like a pink. Wow, I really like this. What year is this? This is this year's. I think, don't know if this is Valentine's or Christmas, but this is, I uh, actually know last year's, 23. So it must've been, might've been last year's Valentine's. I love that one. So what else did I get with it? I must've got something else. From the shop. Okay, I got a bag. It's a reusable tote bag. And it says Starbucks Disneyland on it. Okay. Was this something I got from the Disney store? I'm not sure. I think I had something from the Disney store. I'm not sure who I've been paying. I've been watching them, but then they disappear. But anyway, that's like one of those nylon reusable bags. I'm not going to open that up because it's going to be hard to get it back in there. But there we go. Okay. And let's see. I have this one. I believe. I'm not going to believe. I'm just going to see who it's from. Spin right. That's yarn. Who is that? Is that spin right? Is that um I know who that is. Who has their um company say spin right? It's from Georgia. Mm -hmm. Oh com. Owie. Owie. Oh, it's only bleeding a little. Sorry, this won't go viral. I didn't cut my whole finger off. I just got a paper cut. Okay, let's see. This would be yarn. This is Okay, this would be Fentex yarn, white. I believe I got this for bags. Oh, the picture shows slippers, but let's see what kind of, it's slipper and craft yarn, long wearing, stain resistant, non-fading, fast colors will not stretch or shrink. That might be good for bags too. Keeps the shape that you, you knit in. It's Olefin Exelon. Oh, I am bleeding. Olefin Exelon. 
new softer touch. Mm. 164 yards. So I have three, they came in bags of three. So I have three white, three turquoise, three purple, and three green. And I think my goal was to make some bags because remember I made that bag that had four colors and you just did each section a color and then you connected it together. And that is easy to make because you can just sit and make rectangles one at a time, as many as you want. And then you can just assemble your bags and put a handle on it. So those are really nice on the go projects because you're not carrying a big project around with you. You're just making, it'd be like making granny squares while you're out and about doing stuff with just, you know, so you just like make a, a but you have to make it all the same size. Now, when I did mine, I did mine in different stitches. So yeah, they ended up a little different in size. So um, it's very possible that um, I could make a few of them. Cause I've been watching everybody putting stuff in their shop and I'm like, wow, you know, maybe I should start putting stuff in my shop. <laughs> what the heck maybe somebody would like it because i just went to lisa's shop today and i ha saw something i had to have oh my god i had to have it so when i get it i will show it to you i didn't even know it was in there and i'm surprised oh she's having a sale on her shop too hello 25 percent off lisa happy to hook creations on her etsy shop you need to go check it out all of her bags she's been showing us all of her headbands Amanda's headbands, everything everybody's making is in that shop. And there's some of that good stuff still in there. Nobody's bought it um, yet. Now, I would like the link to that bag, but it's a big granny, but it's a granny square, but it's not square. It's got more than four sides, I believe. I don't know how many, because she, she probably has explained it once, but I don't remember. So let me put this over here and let's move on to another box. Let's see. Here's a little one. This would be from somebody probably on Poshmark. Another thing that I bought there. Let's take a look. Yeah, I know I already cut myself once, but I can put a bandaid on that. It's okay. I just don't happen to have any here, I don't think. I don't even have tape I can wrap on it. It's okay. Now, if I was work, I'd have to cover it up right away if it's bleeding because, you know, you can't bleed around the customers. They don't, they frown upon that. Um, so, let's see, I believe. Yes, this was another, um, Poshmark purchase and it was Starbucks again. So I bought a set of earrings. Where? And you know, when you go on Poshmark, you can bundle things. So this ended up, I found this was after I, the first time I went and I put some in my cart and I wanted to do a bundle and I didn't know how it worked. Well, this time, somebody the other person offered me a bundle would you like this in addition and bundled something for me I said oh is that how that works so I got these earrings there's a little star Starbucks mermaid and they're uh like that and what's in here it looks like tea Oh, she did. Organic peppermint tea. Oh, and a note. Says Lori, thank you for the Starbucks purchase and the earrings in the cup. Uh, I did buy cups. I hope you love them both. I wish you very happy 2024. With... Something, oh, with lots of good coffee. Please shop my closet again soon. I hope you, I do have a travel charger. 
necklace with a Starbucks, my listing. Oh, okay, cool. Um, all righty. That's a long note. I definitely don't write long notes like that. <laughs> so, okay, I'm going to put this over here because there's earrings in it and I'm going to want to wear those. Now, let's, let, let me show you what else I bought from her. I saw that yellow cup. I saw this yellow cup first. This adorable little cup. And I, I saw this. And I think I, this is the first thing I bought. Then I saw these. And there was two of them. So I bought a set of two little espresso cups. Now, these are almost the size of the Christmas ornaments. You could almost use the Christmas ornaments as espresso cups as, as like a half a shot. But these are very cute. And they're very small. They don't take up much room. And let's see, what year were these? Does it say? These are um, 89 milliliters, three ounces. Oh, it's kind of little, I can't see it. These are 2000, I believe that's 18. And did this one say? Oh, this one's even smaller. 16, 2016. So, all righty. There we go. That's one of my obsessions. So you know what I did when I was going through, I got rid of the things that weren't name brands. Like I had some candles that I had bought because just because they were cheap, but I got rid of all the ones that weren't Bath and Body Works because I'm like, you know what? I can't have all of it. So I'm only going to have the stuff that's really good. So I got rid of the cheap stuff, kept the good stuff. So I've been giving that away to people. And so my Starbucks cups for one, but not the cheap ones that you get at Christmas and the gift bags from Walmart. Yeah, not those. I got rid of those and only the ones that have dates on them. I'm keeping those. And um, so you, you, you have to be selective. You can't just keep everything. It's even with the yarn. I still have all that super saver yarn that I bought at Walmart when it was 69 cents four years ago. Yeah, I still have all that. I've been giving it away gradually like I'll put sell a mystery box and put one of them in there with some other nice yarn um, but it's red what red colors white colors okay here's another one not sure what's in this one this is a, a normal person and not a business this came from Georgia let's see what's in here What is wrong with my scissors? Oh my lord. Oh, there we go. Gotta use the sharpen. Oh, my thumb knows where the sharpen is. Still bleeding. I did pretty good yesterday at work. I didn't, uh, it was a pretty nice day. It was quiet. The weather was kind of bad, so people didn't. A lot of people didn't come out. It was really nice. I just don't look forward to going Saturday to work the window. But once I get there, it's not too bad. But then I get out late, and I'm not used to getting out late. I'm used to having the whole day to do stuff now, which is kind of nice. But by the time I get out, it's like six o'clock already. In Utah, things close down early around here. Okay, let's see. We got padding. And I must have bought some Christmas. Oh, this is a mystery box. This was a Starbucks mystery box. I put this in my cart. It was $50. And I weighed it. Or I hearted it. And I weighed it and she marked it down to $25. So then I bought it. It's a Starbucks mystery bag. I think it's Christmas stuff. So I have a Christmas hat. There's a Grinch. And some Christmas socks. I've been wearing these around the house too in the winter. Uh, as long as they stay on, if they start coming off, I get rid of them. 
So I got some of these, some socks, 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 socks. Put that in there. And there's a thank you card. What else to put in here? Here is a container of sugar cookie exfoliating body scrub. Where's this from? Designed in England, sugar cookie Asquith and Somerset. Um, distributed. Oh, I don't know. Let's see what it smells like. I think it's sealed. Yep, it's sealed. So that could be a gift. Okay, let's put that back in there. There is. Oh, look, two bath bombs that look like mitts because it's got the little things on there. That's cute. And I don't take baths, so I'm pretty sure it floats, fizzes, and spins. So I'm sure these will. this will be a gift because I do not take baths. Okay. This is Bath and Body Works, I think, isn't it? No. Who has these that look like this? It's a um, hand sanitizer. I thought they had some that looked like this. Oh, it's Walmart. That's where I've seen them. That's right. The um, holiday time, that's Walmart. Okay, so holiday time stuff's from Walmart, which is great. The cheaper it is, the more you get. That's how I always rolled. Has this got anything in it? No, it's empty, so you can fill it with your own. Oh, that's nice. Okay, there we go. There's a bag with something mystery in it. It is a Christmas mystery bag. So, Christmas necklace, some hair scrunchies, a bag that I could reuse. Penguin earrings. Starbucks. The keychain with the pink, the pink drink. Looks like a, the, um, hmm, I don't know, one of the pink ones. I'll put this over here with the Starbucks stuff because I put that in my display case. Okay, that's that. Whoop. Yeah, what's that? Okay. It goes back in there because I'll never see them again. What you have to do is separate out the Christmas things and put them in their own thing, their own container for next year. And some candy. Nice. And some, I think it's a candy bar. So these don't have to wait. I can eat those now. So let me put that over there. And the last one. I believe it to be a Starbucks cup. So I'm holding that for last. Let's see what is this? Um, scissors. Yeah, fifty dollars. I would not have paid that. But twenty-five, yeah, twenty-five. Surprise things that I would use. Um, decorations for Christmas, things I could re-gift. Yeah, I'll pay 25. So I am starting to, yeah, visit Poshmark more because they also have my email address. Okay, here is a Starbucks cup. And this looks like one of the ones that the Walmart stuff comes in. The thing is, those are the ones I don't really collect, but this one's pretty. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Let me see. Well, no, it's dated 2021. Yeah. Very nice. So I will be keeping that one. Put that over here. Okay, 
believe that is all that's in this box. So I'm going to take this stuff out that's in here and put it in with some other stuff. So it doesn't get lost. Whoops. I got a ball of yarn down here, too. Over there. And if the lady sees this, which I don't know why she would, thank you very much. I enjoyed your mystery box. Of course, we can go over to their shops, or they call them closets on Poshmark, and review them. I believe that was Elaine, yeah. Oh, no, sorry, Erica. And I don't think their closets like have names, like Etsy stores have names and stuff. So let me put that box over there. That's empty. And I need my scissors again. Okay. Now I have another box. Well, let me open the bag. This would be from California. From somebody or something named Aurora. I bought something. What I buy? <gasps> oh, look at those little lambs. Aren't those cute for Easter? Yes. Got those for Easter. They look like little lambs. But the ears do. I'm not sure about them. They're cute and soft and fluffy. So I got those. Probably picked these up on Poshmark. It's a llama. They're llamas. Okay. <laughs> That's why I bought them. They're llamas. Okay, let me put those over here. That's a good lovey size. Just it's small. That's a beanie boo size, so that probably is good. Um, okay, this one's almost empty, so let's, let's see what's in this one. This is from oh, I went out and got some things locally. I decided that uh, this year I need to start getting out more and doing things. So I went ahead and renewed my fishing pass. Um, my girlfriend fishes, so I go with her sometimes. So and we both have Sundays off. So I thought that would be nice. I could go out and go fishing with her. Before we didn't have the same days off, so it was really hard for us to get together to do anything, but now, I have a Sunday. So I bought the fishing license and I have the membership to the, um, the Red Butte Gardens where I can go walking. And I bought the membership to the zoo, which is right across the street from where I work. I can go there and go walking and take you with me um, or take the camera with me in case something fun happens. You can see the animals or anything. And I bought the some park passes so I can go into the state parks and the national parks, which would be my Zion and my arches that I've never been to. My son told me it costs $30 just to drive in one time. And the pass is not that much. If you go two or three times, you've already paid for your pass. So that's my plan this year is to do more things and go more places and see them. Because I've been here, this is like my sixth year, and I still haven't gone to see anything hardly at all. So I went ahead and got a National Park Road Atlas. Yep, Ram McNally. So I know it's kind of, um, you think it's a map book, but you've got a phone. Well, no, you do, but you can go in here and take a look at things and say, okay, I want to go do that. And it's right here physically to look at. Um, instead of having to bring it back up on your phone, out of sight, out of mind. Um, Canyon Labs, I hear that one's awesome. That's here in Utah. Canyonland National Park is one of the places where you can go. It's not as crowded as the rest of it. That's what I've heard from some of my YouTube people. So, and it gives you the highlights of where it's located, you know, and and I still have a lot of vacation. And there's some little road trips that I want to take. 
So um, they are in alphabetical order. So to look up all the ones that are close to me, I would have to just kind of look around. And, you know, if, if mileage charts, you guys, if you guys are young, you don't even know how to read these things. Uh, 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 Thomas Brothers, you guys don't even know what that is? Wow. Okay, that's going to go in my uh, to-do list, <laughs> things that I want to do. So I think that's was in here oh no my pass is that my pass yes my pass you have to have that they mail it to you you can't even go in until you get your pass so i gotta have that and this is um the valid pass must be inserted here okay this is to hang on your uh, windshield i guess your 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 thing so that you can uh Okay. Hang it on your, your rear view mirror. Yeah, this is to hang in your car. Okay. Very good. I got to keep that handy now. And my past benefits, and it tells me what I can do and what I can't do. The rules. And okay. And that's it. Okay. That's very exciting. Because that, that's uh, uh, something that gets me out of the house, gets me out to see some of the beautiful things around here. And I have another box. It says open the other end. Okay. This one's a big one. So there's something here that's kind of big and unwieldy. <sighs> Scissors. Lab. Oh, gosh. I set them down somewhere. Hope I don't stab myself. I don't know where to put them. There they are. Okay, let's see what's in this. Then we'll open another end. Oh, it's on the side. Okay. And I did buy some more yarn. I didn't, you know, I didn't do a video on it or anything because it was just, you know, some more of the clinch yarn from Michaels. I got the impeccable and I had some of the impeccable colors. And then when I went to the other store, it just had more of the same thing. So tomorrow, Monday, when I go to my doctor's appointment, I'm going to go to Michaels first because it's on the way to the doctor. The one I haven't been to yet and see, this is where I used to go to therapy in that part of town. And I haven't been there for a long time. That was my first five below. That was where they put in the Bath and Body Works there. They have a, a Five Guys Burger. Um, they have a Smith's for grocery stores. They have a Walmart. They have the Michaels. They have, um, what's up next to Michaels? There's a lot of stuff right there. And, oh yeah, Starbucks, there's one there somewhere. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of stuff down there. And um, so let's see, where is this one from? Oh. Well, shoot. This is a Disney store. And this stuff was very cheap. This was only, this is, I go to the clearance and this was on clearance. And this was 10, this was $17 for these two things. They were on clearance, okay? So we need to see what it is. Less than 20 dollars I thought that other one might have been Disney, but it wasn't. I think that was probably a different, just a different place. Now I'm probably going to get emails with all the other stuff that's on sale. Oh, yeah. These things are so cute. You don't go over there. This is a little teapot. It's a shooting star. The star's on it. It has a lid. And see, this is dated. 
Disney. Um, I'm not sure. Stoneware, but anyway, this is very pretty. It's kind of pearlescent. See, you can see it like down here. It's kind of pearlescent. Um, it has the, the lid that comes off. Very cool. So, put that in my uh, case. And now Disney was having their anniversaries. They had a hundred, they just had a hundred year where they had cereal and all kinds of stuff. And um, all kinds of things, their 100 year. I was able to get the um, Winnie the Pooh 100 year mug. That Big Lots had it. I was telling you guys about that before. Some of you were able to go and get some. It's, it's your local Big Lots. They have, every once in a while, they've got this. They've got them a lot of places. So now this one is a coffee mug. This was on clearance from the 50th anniversary, the golden anniversary. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Celebration. The world's most magical celebration. 50. 50 years. Yep. Starbucks. That's the Starbucks cup. So, yeah. That goes in my Starbucks collection. Very pretty. That is gold. I'm sure it's just painted. Um, microwave safe, so it's not real gold. <laughs> that is very pretty. I like that one. Cinderella's Castle's biggest icon they have. So that is it for the shopping for today. Um, or what I brought home. I think I still have a Joanne's bag over there at work. I saw one was delivered. No, I would have gotten it, right? I went to work Saturday and they wouldn't have delivered anything any other day. So I guess, no, I guess. Well, I don't know. I'll be surprised. So I don't have anything else here. So, okay. Feeling grinchy? Hey, guys. That is what I had. Now, go ahead and check out Lisa's shop. Like I mentioned, she has having a sale right now. Um, uh, Elaine, the penguin. She, I bought some. I just bought something from her shop today. She has some all those things she makes. She puts them in her shop. And I just bought something from her today that I thought was very cute. And I like to take stuff to work. I sort of have a desk that I kind of share with somebody other people sort of, but I've been kind of personalizing it a little bit here and there. And uh, so I, I like to put, a few, I got a, a, it's very dark and it's very boring. So I try to brighten it up a little bit. So, um, okay. But yeah, I'm going to put some links in the um, description to some of these places. So you can go take a look at them and uh, maybe get yourself something at a good deal. If you've been wanting something from that Lisa made, this is a good time. Those bags are in there. That red orange one she made, the red one she made, it's in there. Nobody's bought it. I didn't buy that. There was something else that I wanted. It was Grinchy. Ah! It might still be in there. You'll know what it was. <laughs> but yeah, I can put together my um my Christmas bag of stuff I'm gonna put away, and I'll put some of my um holiday stuff in it. So, okay. Very good. I shall see you guys tomorrow on the other side. And you be careful. Stay good. Have a good week. Don't know when I'm going to see you next. But yeah. Thanks for coming. If you want to like what you see, go ahead and subscribe. Because you'll know when I put my, more stuff up, especially when I put up my giveaways. You don't want to miss those. Mm-hmm. I got to go now. <laughs>